Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor for those of you who may have never been here before and about a year ago actually I made a video about weird ways you can make money in The Sims 4. It did pretty well and I enjoyed making it a lot so I decided I wanted to do a second one. We've gotten a decent amount of content since then so I wanted to add some other ways that you can make money in The Sims 4. If you have any ideas for a future video just like this one, things that I haven't mentioned in either of these videos, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'm sure other people watching this would also love to just read through them because I love when you guys leave comments about stuff like that. But if you enjoy this video at any point throughout, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel and you can also find me on Twitch and Twitter and Instagram and my TikTok and everything all linked down in the description down below. Let's jump into the video. The very first thing we're going to talk about is the ability to search for money in your Sims laundry. So of course you need the Sims 4 laundry day stuff to do this, but if you have dirty laundry in your laundry baskets, you can click on them and search search pockets. And when you do this, your Sims will get a little bit of money. Obviously this isn't going to be a ton of money. None of the things on this are going to make you super rich, but they are just weird ways to earn money in the Sims 4. So you're not going to get super rich from this, but you will get somewhere between like 10 and 50 simoleons every single time you do it. If you have a big family, you can actually earn quite a bit of money from this. If you especially if you have a stay-at-home parent and you just want weird ways to make the money, that's a good way to go about it. Your next option is to be a kleptomaniac. <laughs> this is a trait that you can get in The Sims 4 that's going to make your Sims have the ability to swipe items, steal things, from other Sims and community lots from just random things. It's mostly just decor objects, but you can eventually get to the point if you have a high enough mischief skill where you can get bigger things, which can actually add up. This is especially helpful if you go to like rich Sims houses when they have like stupid statues and things that you'll eventually be able to steal. This does have a cooldown, so you can't just like walk into Judith Ward's house and steal every single item she owns. You are going to have to wait a little while, but it can add up if you do it enough and get that mischief skill nice and high. The next thing on this list is everyone's favorite trash can, which is the Nano Can Touchless Trash Can. If you have this on your Sims lot, you can earn money when you drag anything into it, which is really awesome. It is one of my favorite hacks for things like Rags to Riches and Hunter Baby. Especially if you have giant households of eight Sims, you'll get 80 simoleons per thing you drag into the garbage. You get 10 simoleons per Sim in your household. So if you have a one Sim household, you'll get 10. Three Sim household, you'll get 30. Full household, you'll get 80 simoleons every time you put something in there. And that money adds up really quick, especially if you're playing Hunter Baby. The next one, if you have The Sims 4 Get Famous, is to ask celebrities for autographs and then sell them. You can sell them automatically and get a little bit of money. However, there is the option in your inventory if you click on it and choose appraise, you will be able to earn a little bit more money. So for example, this one here we got 50 simoleons for, originally appraised it and it was worth 300. Big difference there and you can actually ask them multiple times in a row. You'd think they'd be like, no, go away, I already gave, I already gave you one, like what are you doing? But they allowed me to ask for more than one. So you can do this multiple times and just have a whole business of asking for autographs and selling them. I don't know, maybe that's what you're into. The next thing works if you have The Sims 4 Realm of Magic and that is using the copy pasto, copy pasto, pasto, probably copy paste. Pasto. Ch uh, the, the, the spell. <laughs> this one allows you to use small objects, click on them, copy them, and if it works, sometimes it fails and they turn to dust, which isn't the most wonderful, but it's fine. It works the majority of the time. But when it works, you'll be able to sell these items for money. For example, we use this little shoe rack here, and it was worth like 96 simoleons every time. Nice and easy. Just make sure you don't overcharge your sim and end up killing them. That would be bad. The next thing works if you have The Sims 4 spooky stuff, and that is to be able to carve pumpkins. Now, the first couple pumpkins that you carve using the pumpkin carving station aren't going to be worth as much money as you paid to carve them, because it does cost you 25 simoleons to carve. But as your Sims get better, you know, they learn how to do it. They're going to get more options, more different types of pumpkins that they can carve. And this means that they will be able to make more money doing it, which is really awesome. This is really great because you can just have, like, your Sims hanging out, you know, hanging out with their kids, carving some pumpkins, having a good time. Sell them. Use them as decor. Do whatever you want, but you can make money by doing this, and it's a very weird hobby. Maybe it's something you do every fall. I'd be into that. That'd be kind of fun. The next thing you can do if you have The Sims 4 Seasons, you can purchase one of those present stacks from Seasons and be able to just open presents, and then if you add presents to it, you can open more presents, and then open more presents, and just open presents to your heart's delight until your Sims get tons and tons and tons of stuff in their household inventory and just end up with a bunch of really cool stuff. The more you open presents, the more likely you are to get some of the higher ticket items like a fridge or a stove or an expensive painting instead of just like the little stuff like clay. That's so sad. Who gives clay or coal on Christmas? That's so mean. Anyway, this is actually a really fun one because you can have your whole family just go and open presents continuously. It's a great way to make money if you're playing Rags to Riches or 100 Baby as well. 
The next things with the bass game add is to play music for tips. You can do this with the violin, you can do this with a guitar, any movable object that you could have in your inventory that plays music. And all you have to do is go and have a decently high, because you know you don't want to suck at it, put a decently high skill in that mu musical instrument and you'll be able to play in public and Sims will just kind of like walk up and give you a few simoleons. This Sim managed to get 20 simoleons every single time from every single Sim that walked up, which ends up adding up if you're hanging out there all day. It's a really good way to make money and especially if you're in a high traffic area, you can actually do really well with this. I absolutely love using the area in the new world of Henford on Bagley to do this because there's always Sims just wandering around that town square. It's perfect and you can earn quite a bit of money from playing for tips. The next one works if you have The Sims 4 get to work and you get a cupcake machine. And I know that none of us want to have a cupcake machine because it's so big and so unnecessary, but it's one of those objects that you can make a good amount of money from. If you make cupcakes on the cupcake machine, you're actually able to eventually sell them to a bakery as long as they are high enough quality and the bakery pays a premium. If you were to sell them in your inventory and stuff, you're not going to make very much money, but if you sell them to a bakery, that is a good way to make money in this game. You'll be able to do this as many times as you want. There is no cooldown for selling to a bakery and you'll just be able to like feed this bakery all your baked goods and just make tons of money doing it. It's a really, really easy and fun, honestly, way to make money in The Sims 4. Even though the cupcake machine is ridiculous, it's still fun to have in your household. Plus the animations on it are really silly and I like that. The next thing you can do is add the Penny Pixies lot trait to your Sims lot. This will give you random amounts of money at random times and it just kind of just shows up, appears and you get to enjoy free money. It's kind of like the same amounts that you would get if you were searching the pockets in your laundry. Small amounts, pretty infrequently, but it does end up just giving your Sims money and it can be helpful, especially if you're playing rags to riches or a Sim who just doesn't have a lot. It can definitely add up over time. The next thing you can do is use the dumpsters from Eco Lifestyle. You can find these either in Evergreen Harbor or just put one on your own lot and use that instead. Being able to use these is really good because you can dive for deals, which is really great. You can, what you want to do here if you have it on your own lot is just drag things into the garbage can and then it will unlock the ability for your Sims to be able to dive for deals. Obviously, there needs to be things in the garbage can, so if it doesn't allow you to do it, then drag some more stuff into the, the dumpster and you'll be able to do it again. You can get things like furniture. You can get different amounts of money. You can get bits and pieces. There's so many things you can get from diving in these dumpsters. So they're actually a really valuable item to have. And I really like that they were added with Eco Lifestyle, one of my favorite expansion packs. But this is definitely something fun. You can also woohoo in dumpsters. You can get food from dumpsters and it's just a good time. The next one on this list is a base game or cats and dogs activity, and that is taking selfies or taking pictures of your cats or dogs and selling those. So any photo that you take of yourself ends up in your inventory, any photo you take of your animals ends up in your inventory, and you're able to actually sell these. And you can make a decent amount of money doing this, which is kind of fun. It's just like, okay, I'm going to take pictures, and then I'm going to make money, and it's beautiful, spectacular, wonderful, we love her. And you can actually end up making a decent amount of money doing this. They end up being worth like somewhere around 10 millions. If you get a higher photography skill, you you can definitely earn more of an income from these. Plus, the pet pictures are really, really adorable when your pets are laying on their back and they're just so precious. I love that. The next thing comes from Bust the Dust, the weird kit in The Sims 4. But what you can do here is you're actually able to go and befriend these dust buddies. You want to be able to give, like, feed them dust a lot, pet them once you get that ability unlocked, and once a befriend shows up, make sure you do that. And make sure you do some different interactions with them before you ask them to search for valuables. When you do this, if you have a low relationship with them, you won't get anything good or they just will show up with nothing. But if you have a high relationship with these dust bunnies, you're able to actually get pretty high quality items you can get some like fruits and vegetables, some actual money. They'll just give you money or anything else in the game. It's it's honestly wonderful. Befriending a dust bunny, they actually stick around even if you vacuum. And then they're just your buddy for like the rest of your life and they'll never leave you, which is kind of weird because they're dust. Do you want to be friends with a dust bunny in real life? I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, asking them to search for valuables is actually a really good way to make money and you can do it without even ever having to leave your Sims home. Those are the kind of ways I like to make money in the game. My Sims never have real jobs. And our final thing is to sell paranormal oddities. So if you have The Sims 4 paranormal stuff and your Sims are living in a haunted house, you are going to be able to sell things that randomly show up in your Sims home. This is gonna take a little while because the more things that show up in your home, some of them can't be sold, but the more that you get, the creepier your house gets and the more oddities you're gonna get. And it's probably gonna take you about a week in Sims time to see your first one, depending on what's going on. Sometimes it might be faster, sometimes it might be slower. But once you get these little oddities on your Sims lot, you're able to sell them to a paranormal collector and make money from this. So it is kind of valuable to be able to have your Sims be like, hmm, I'm gonna live in a haunted house to try to earn income off of it and then maybe become a paranormal investigator. 
live your life queen if that's what you're into, not for me. But it is a way to make money in The Sims 4, so I wanted to add it to this list. But there you have it guys, those are some fun and weird ways that you can make money in The Sims 4. I really apologize for the lighting in this video. The sun has not been out all day and it just decided to start beaming in my window, so I'll definitely be closing my curtains, but we're, we're dealing with some weird stuff right now, so it's probably changed a few times. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, I would really appreciate that. You can find a link to my Twitch, my Twitter, my Instagram, and everywhere else you can find me down in the description below. I really hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye everybody!